And let me tell you what you need when you plan to build your own cold rooms and whatever is a small cold room, big cold rooms. Uh, you still need these machines. You still need these things to build these cold rooms. Uh, even negative or positive cold rooms, uh, you still need things. First thing you need it, you need the outdoor unit. This is the outdoor unit. This is, we have it here, it's like a Bitzer compressor. Uh, one of the best and the best compressor in the world, 90 years experience. Uh, but I wanted to say something here, guys, like before that. All it depends for the customer needs. So if you, I cannot tell you, oh, you need to start with Bitzer, no. If you have, it depends for your budget. I will show you now a different compressor, uh, which you can also even take it, even Chinese compressor is well done. Uh, so what you need, you need the, the outdoor unit. What, it depends for your country, if it's hot or cold. or So for the African countries or for very, very hot countries, uh, you need to consider to add uh, the condenser here. You need to add it much bigger than, you need to add it bigger actually. So this is here, uh, let me see how much this compressor here. This is 5 HP, 5 HP. So this compressor is good to use in China, but if you want to use it in the desert or in the one country in Africa or whatever in Saudi Arabia, you need to increase the condenser size. So maybe you can increase this by 50% or you know 70% sometimes if the environment temperature get 50 uh, 50 uh, this is what we say you need also to get mentions uh, about the the accessories so this is is it like uh, there is two kinds there is a chinese brand they can use it this is for chinese brand or there is also Danfoss. this is also change the price the fans uh, the oil separator, and we have the gas separator. All these things, uh, meet the, uh, all these things change the price, you know, up and down. Uh, but uh, this is the first one. Let's go to show you what you need this, this next thing. Uh, the second things you need is the evaporator or the air cooler. The air cooler here is like, it's less expensive. Uh, it's like, it's not expensive as the compressor. Uh, all it depends for the market you want. Uh, this is a Chinese company here. And if you want to buy evaporator from China, uh, the problem with the evaporator in China, not all, I just want to say, but a lot of factories, they don't have re exactly numbers. Exactly numbers how much produce kilowatt this evaporator. So they put it for the size, but uh, some nice companies I deal with, they have very good uh, they can tell you exactly how many kilowatt give it to you. So what you need to what you need to get to, from evaporator, what you need to focus for evaporator for the fans, and the second things, if this evaporator, if this evaporator used for the rooms minus twenty or uh, for the freezing, you need to you need to focus if there is a heater or not. So I can show you this one. You see here, this is the heater. This is the heater here. Sorry, this is the heater here. This is the heater. Uh, when it gets freezing uh, the ice, it can like melt the ice here. And this is the, the fans behind. The third things you need, the panel. The panel, this is, it depends for the room's temperatures. If the room's like minus uh, 20, uh, so if the room's, uh, so this one, all it depends for the room temperature. If the room's like used for chiller or the temperatures around zero or something, you can use 75 if there is very good installations, or you can use even the, the 10 centimeters. This is here 10 centimeters. Uh, minus uh, 20, uh, I recommend uh, 15 or 12 centimeters, even 10 centimeters if you have a uh, nice, uh, if there is indoor, it's nice, you can use it 10 centimeters. This is, we have different colors. It depends also, there is what you need to mention in the, in the panel, the thickness, the, the panel, 
how pressure is inside it. So, or uh, uh, the other side you need to mention is like the, the surface, the materials here in the surface. This is color steel, but the thickness for the color steel, how much? There is 0 0.3, there is 0 0.5. Uh, if 0 0.5, the price is a little bit getting expensive. So this is the, so we said, we need the outdoor unit, uh, indoor unit, uh, we need the panel, and we can show you the next one. Uh, also, you need the door. Uh, the door, it depends for the cold room project. Uh, some cold rooms is bigger one, then you need to get the sliding doors, make it easy. Uh, or even for the medium room or small rooms uh, for the bigger rooms all it depends for the client there is too many doors I'll, i put in my uh, youtube channel there is too many doors size uh, too many different doors you can go see it uh, so the door is what makes this doors a special focus uh, try to test this one this one the special things about it cvt doors looks so if you are inside of what, uh, if you are inside to take something and the room doors are closed, guys, uh, this one you can open it from inside safety. So at the night, even if there is dark, you still can see this uh, shining at the night. Uh, so this is the panel. This is also the door. And what you need also, let me show you. You need to get the the control panel. The control panel main things use is to control the temperatures. You can control the temperatures from here. This is screen. Uh, you need it high temperature, low temperatures, and it can show you if there is any ice, uh, and you can close it or if you need automatically. Mainly, if I can open one for you now. This is in Chinese, but if you use it in your country, we put it in English. So here we go. I can show you. Here you put the conductors inside. So this way I want to say something here. Uh, a lot of uh, who want to invest in the cold room, they worry that if there is any happen to the, to the compressor, then everything is well gone. Or if there is uh, anything happen to the evaporator. Uh, just uh, let you know, each part, each part in the compressor, in the cold rooms, in the refrigeration circle, have some protect. So you will find some here, some protector, protect the compressor, protect if there is high pressure, if there is low pressures, uh, protect every part. So you don't need to worry too much about the, if there is any happening. If there is any happening, there is, this circle is cut, then you need some technician go to check what is the problem. But usually there is nothing big deal. Uh, the other thing what you need when you build cold room, you need the expansion valve. This expansion valve from Danfoss, I'm not sure if you say it here. Uh, this expansion valve is this expansion valve one of the most important. I can show you how it looks like. So this is the expansion valve. This part is between the indoor unit and outdoor unit. The main use of this part is control the liquid refrigerant. Uh, between the indoor and outdoor units. So if you need uh, very low temperature, then it goes to open to allow the refrigerants go more. If you need high temperature, then it's closed. So this is the part what you need. Oh yeah, there is other part you need. Uh, you still need the refrigerant. This is the blood in the cold room. This is the blood. The compressor, the unit one, the outdoor unit, is the heart. This is the blood. So this is goes around to the refrigeration circle. This is, you need to choose the refrigerant easy change. This is one of the easy change from the gas to liquid, liquid gas. So this is R22. I don't recommend it now. I don't recommend, but it's still used in China here and it's still used in some... Uh, African countries, Yemen, even I am not sure if Saudi Arabia they still use it. Uh, Europe, this one is you cannot find it. You cannot sell it uh, because the ozone and low, you know, the global warming. So I don't recommend R22. Uh, I recommend the 507 for uh, for 
you know, low temperatures. There is 404, one of the best. You can still can use it, still even can use in Europe, even start to get some more restriction about it. So for the refrigerants, it depends for some countries. If you are like, some countries still actually prefer R22 and they allowed it like uh, uh, some countries in Africa. And there is others in North America as well. So what you need as well, you need the refrigerant.